What's up, nerds? There was a bit of a controversy that went on in YouTube nerdland the other day. My longtime YouTuber BFF, Ronald the Rules Lawyer, posted a video called Does Pathfinder Break Immersion? In that YouTube video, my new YouTuber BFF, Dungeons and Discourse, talked about how she felt that the combat mechanics in Pathfinder, which are heavily reliant on sort of video gaminess, broke her immersion in our campaign. Naturally, the comment section was totally civil and wasn't full of people being like, do you even know that you're playing a heroic fantasy RPG, oh my god. I'm just kidding, it was absolutely filled with people going, do you even know you're playing a heroic fantasy RPG, oh my god. Now, for a bit of context, this discussion came right after our party almost TPK'd in our Outlaws of Alkenstar campaign. For context, to the context, our party had to break into this fishery that utilized child labor. We had to kill the overseers, free the child slaves, and seize the means of production for the working class. The fishery stood in the docks district of Alkenstar. It had a walkway that surrounded the entire building, and it had big old windows that we could use to peer inside and scout out what we were gonna do. So we decided to walk around the building, peer inside, and scout out what we were gonna do. We figured out where the bad guys were, and we saw the kids packaging fish into cans or whatever it was that they were doing, and we devised like this Rainbow Six Siege style plan to break in, kill the bad guys, free the kids, get out. We set up outside, got ready, and before you could say Papa Fancy and the Big Bang Brothers, we attacked those dastardly child slavers. And we got absolutely wrecked by them. I mean, to be fair, we rolled like shit, but the few enemies that were in this fishery knocked almost every single member of our party unconscious, except for offbeat Outlaws character who they just straight up killed. Ronald had clearly wanted this whole building to serve as a dungeon. In fact, in the discussion afterwards, he said that he thought we would go in through one room and in sort of a fantasy testudo formation, clear each room of this building one room at a time, rather than do a breach and clear space special forces style operation. And Sean, the other resident Pathfinder expert, confirmed that Pathfinder is meant to be played as sort of a tactical team game where you all go in formation and clear combat encounters relying on each other's abilities. You don't breach and clear a building like your Task Force 141. Furthermore, Seanald said that Pathfinder really leans into its own gaminess. When you hit an enemy, you're depleting the hit points of a mob. The narrative idea that you're slashing into this creature's chest and making it bleed out and incapacitating it in some sort of way is relegated to narrative flavor rather than having any sort of impact on the mechanics. Contrast that with Dungeon World or like Morkborg where that narrative flavor is required. If you don't say that you carve a canyon into that troll's chest making it bleed out and die, the entire game just falls apart. Now the actual point that Discourse and Offbeat Outlaw were making in the discussion is that they felt that they had come into the campaign with the wrong expectations and that's what hurt their gameplay experience. Experience. They figured that if they learned how to play optimally with their character concepts, then they could actually start to have some fun. But of course, a mature, nuanced opinion like that is lost on the internet, and people interpreted that as them saying that they didn't like Pathfinder and they thought Pathfinder sucked. So I will fill the interwebs with a simple, stupid opinion. I don't think Pathfinder's fun. If I wanted to spend my time playing something that was designed like a tactical video game, I would play a tactical video game. Divinity Original Sin 2 is a tactical team game with a gajillion character combinations, just like Pathfinder. And unlike Pathfinder, you don't have to schedule your playtime a month in advance because everyone is busy and RPGs take a ton of time to run. I also don't really like Divinity Original Sin 2. I play RPGs for the creativity and fun they can offer. When I sit down at the table with my friends, I want our session to feel like a movie, not a crunchy tactical team game. Wait, wasn't one of your first videos you talking about how much better you think Pathfinder is to D&D? &D? It was, and I stand by that. And there's a very important detail in my statement that people who have probably already commented on this video have completely overlooked. I said I didn't find Pathfinder fun. I didn't say I thought it was poorly designed. If you like the idea of moving around as a team in formation through dungeons, slaying dragons, thinking tactically, and having a bajillion character options, then Pathfinder is absolutely fantastic. As I said however long ago, we hindered our gameplay experience because we tried playing Pathfinder in a way that didn't align with its design goals. Now, if you're someone who doesn't really think about game design, you might say that's a flaw in the system. After all, shouldn't the ideal TTRPG be able to support 
any type of game that you want to play? No, absolutely not. And in fact, one of the reasons people like to shit on 5th edition is because Wizards of the Coast tried to incorporate every style of gameplay when they designed those rules. And in trying to incorporate every game style, you end up doing nothing really well. Contrast that with Masks A New Generation. Masks A New Generation is considered one of the best powered by the Apocalypse games on the market. And it does one thing incredibly well, and that is the only thing it does. If you want to play a game about insecure teenage superheroes, Masks is fantastic. If you want to play a game about literally anything else, the game completely falls apart. But no one's playing Masks in New Generation to do anything other than play teenage superheroes. Like Masks, Pathfinder is built around a singular concept. Going through an adventure as a team, relying on each other's abilities, thinking tactically and optimally, and really leaning into the gaminess aspect of TTRPGs, which it does incredibly well. If you don't want that very specific gameplay experience and you instead want to play a gang of Western outlaws trying to find their way in a fantasy Western town, you're gonna have a bad time. The question remains though, now that I've publicly said that I don't think Pathfinder is that fun, will I still play in the Rules Lawyers Outlaws of Alkenstar Pathfinder campaign. Well, duh. This may come as a shocker, but a RPG experience is way more than just the system. The people you play with are far more important than the silly rules. You could be playing the worst design system in the world, but if you're playing with people that you like, you will have a much better time than if you play the greatest system ever designed in the history of role-playing games, but you play with people who suck. Ultimately, the rules are just there to facilitate a shared gameplay experience, and no one ever treasures the fact that they're like, um, I actually pr cr correctly calculated all of my advantage scores and was able to... Nobody cares about that. What people care about are the memories that they made with their friends at the table. Now, if you thought this kind of rambling rant about Pathfinder was interesting and you wanted to hear another one of my game design takes, you should totally click right here, where I talk about is Powered by the Apocalypse a real game? That's all I have. Thank you so much for watching. And wait, I did that in the wrong order. <laughs>